Late Night with the Devil is horror unlike anything you've seen before, part found footage and part real time. The film focuses on 70s late night host Jack Delroy, Oppenheimer star David Dasmalkian, who finds himself in a pickle as his ratings plummet while in competition with The Tonight Show starring Johnny Carson. In a last ditch effort to boost viewership, Jack hosts a Halloween episode of his New York City based show, Night Owls, in 1977, inviting special guests to speak on the occult. Point one. Guest is a young girl named Lily, Ingrid Torelli, with a tragic past who gives Jack, his guests, and the studio audience, not to mention viewers at home, more than they bargained for. Late Night with the Devil has gotten viral attention on social media for its plot and unique filmmaking style, and it amassed more than $10 million at the box office on a modest budget since its March 22 release. The film's writer directors, brothers Colin and Cameron Cairns, tell people, it's rare that an indie, Genre movie breaks out like this, so it would be an understatement to say the film's box office success and all the viral attention it has sparked has been a pleasant surprise. It means the world to us that people have responded so positively, they add. We are just delighted that the film has found its audience. Aside from late-night TV and films like The Exorcist, 1973, and The Howling, 1981, the Cairns brothers say they were inspired by being huge fans of Network and The King of Comedy 2, movies that explored and critiqued the length some people go to to get their 15 minutes of fame. During Late Night with the Devil, audiences learn a few things about Jack, namely that he had a wife who died of lung cancer at a young age, which is presented as unusual considering she never smoked. Before her death, Jack even brings her on as a guest on Night Owls in the hopes of upping his ratings but it proves to no avail compared to Johnny Carson.